should be a pretty nice drive, Mike. Hardly any traffic, fucking just freaking. Watch my mouth there. It's uh, February 16, 2019. This is the uh, the aftermath of our little snowstorm that we had. My house, we got about two and a half, three inches of new snow, which is nice. Um, I mean, it's not much, but it makes everything look nice. Yeah. And we're heading down the mountain, down Highway 38, the only part that's open on this side of the mountain range. So we're going to uh, head down that way so you guys can check it out. See for yourselves if you want to come up here or not. Oh, yeah. Man, I still feel a cheesesteak with mustard, huh? I don't know why I, I, I was never told that there. Because I would always order like a, a Frank a number four, which is like Frank's best or something like that. Extra the works. Or something like that. Extra cheese, extra, extra uh, green, or all, all the peppers and stuff. Oh, man. Oh, that's uh, that's the word. This guy's going slow, bro. That's yeah, dude, totally. I think the big bear trolley would know how to drive a little better in the snow. Well, if it was the Marta. Oh, dude, those guys fly, bro. Getting sideways, bro. <laughs> dude, totally, man. Those guys are insane. <laughs> yeah, those guys are insane. <coughs> to grab something to eat. Oh, I don't know. Wherever you want, man. I always crave uh, cheap Chinese food. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Or anything. I don't know. Like Pei Wei? That's not cheap. That's, 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 that's good shit. That's that's fucking the the fire freaking ball. cheap. That's that's freaking P.F. Chang's just half the price. It's the same. When they opened up, it's the same. Uh, it's the same motor. Uh, or is it Spectrum? Irvine Spectrum? Yeah. Dude, I was going there all the time. Really? The Firebird Bowl was bomb. Yeah, there you go. Pick a land, buddy. I would always get the, just like, the standard, like, sweet and sour stuff, or like, orange, orange chicken, or, or, or this, uh, and I'd go to the one off of Bison all the time. <clears throat> bison. In the port. Next to Belcourt. That was the other side of the track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's funny. They used to let me into Dub Canyon, but it was just to work. Oh, really? <laughs> I used to play golf at Dub Canyon Country Club. <coughs> I was one of them. There you go. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you still just because these people will lag for sure, but so it's 8 13 a.m. According to my car, it's 23 degrees. And guys, we got Mike with us again. Just, just cruising down the mountain range, down to 38. The only way you can get into town right now, except for the back way on Highway 18 through Lucerne. So be aware, and it's due to severe rock and mudslides um, that have taken out a bunch of the road on Highway 18, so just be prepared, folks. And I would play the freaking music, but when I play the music, it puts all my videos blocked worldwide. So oh, yeah, no, for sure. So no one can see, it's so stupid. We just gotta make our own music. Dude, that's gonna happen soon. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. 99 bottles of pit. <laughs> that's structure two inches. Ad limit. Yeah, totally. <coughs> my my fans are so supportive though, they'd they'd probably like it. Heck yeah, dude. It's entertaining. Dude, look at that over there. Look at that. Baker's Pond has an island again. So guys, Baker's Pond has an island again over here. Unbelievable. And that's Baker's Pond. We remember the name because of Mike last night. He helped us out. I can't believe that, guys. This is Big Bear. This is so beautiful, you guys. So, yeah. Baker's Pond. 
I know this video is going to be like an hour long, but you guys are going to enjoy it. It's going to show you uh, the whole drive down the mountain. Usually on these really long drives, I'll do a time lapse, but I want them to see. Dan's early, huh? noticing for the term I coined the Big Bear Snow Rule. It's going to go down one street and yeah. say hello to my little friend. Yeah, that's exactly right. Your time lapse came out nice last night. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I was really fun. Really freaking nice. Sorry guys, I'm cussing a lot today. Please, please forgive me. It's just I... No excuse. Uh, well, I'm only speeding just to get to the stop sign real quick. Guys, forgive me about that. Maybe I should go down one one more just yeah. in case. Because yeah. you're going faster than that lady would have been going. Oh, totally. But she's probably knowing I'm doing this and probably speeding up. <laughs> All right, left turn on Chippendale. Woo! Just king retard. Oh, dude, that oh that was her. That was her. Dang, she sped up. She totally did, bro. We have to open a can of whoops, Subi. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> dude, it's so weird. Like I'm so used to driving like that that it's just like it's just safe. She slowed down. Yeah. She sped up. <laughs> she slowed down. Dude. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, totally. You're a very nice person. <laughs> You're number one. Cause you, you, You're you, number one. you know she was flying. Give her a honk. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> this early, I'm extra aggressive. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I can't believe she actually pulled over though. I, I gotta give her the old. Thank you, Hazards, real quick, even though somewhat in sarcasm. Because she had to have sped up, dude. She did. Like, <laughs> she sped up because we turned right and then turned left. She saw us. Yeah. And then she slowed down. Yeah. She was playing games. <laughs> totally. Play stupid games, win stupid prize. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's exactly right. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <coughs> you guys hear that? That's the term of the day. I was going to say the term of the day should be La Vida Loca. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. That'd be great. La Vida Loca. Oh, yeah. so cold out when the water hit my windshield it froze on my windshield that's a trip that is a trip Remember, 
if you gotta pull over for anything, you just let me know. It's not a problem. If you need to use the restroom or anything. <coughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, dude, no problem. I just hate feeling like I'm hostage in someone else's car, you know? Oh, yeah. So is this off of like the 91 or the 57 or the 22 or what? This long. Uh, the five. Okay. By Disneyland. Oh, nice. Okay. So it's, it's not that bad. All right. Guys, this is what they call a bluebird day. Right after a nice little snow, just blue skies as far as the eye can see, not a cloud in the sky. Be a beautiful day to go snowboarding, you guys. <laughs> Careful though, because it'll shut off my. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, dude. That's the song that I was wanting to play on the radio when he said the Vita Loca. <laughs> Inside, outside, living la vida loca. So like, like, isn't there some way? I don't know my voice crack. Isn't there some way that I can like put put the band's name on there? Um, to give them credit. Yeah, to like, and <laughs> and and they can take the credit, whatever money the video makes. I don't care. <laughs> you know, I really don't like. Um, because some of my videos, if it's like one song, it won't be blocked worldwide, so it'll let me play it through my video which just demonetizes that video which is fine um, but most of the time it uh, well you would have to pay your BMG and ASCAP fees <laughs> my, my what? BMG what's that? ASCAP fees <laughs> and ASCAP fees? ASCAP what's that? Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to hearing this uh, these are uh, fees that you pay <coughs> to the industry to utilize <coughs> music that's been licensed oh so the Astastic fee is actually a real fee? Yeah, ASCAP. A -S -C -A -P. ASCAP. <laughs> and then BMG. Oh, I see. Those right. are the companies that send out royalties to uh, musicians. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I've noticed other videos, people like put the band names and stuff, and I don't know if, if, if that helps them or not, but... Interesting, okay, cool. I had no idea. I didn't say ass hat. <laughs> yeah. This guy driving like 10 miles an hour. What a Barney. What a Barney. And all you guys don't, because of the crap I sometimes talk, don't drive faster than you feel comfortable driving just because I'm saying stuff like that. You guys drive safe. Give yourself extra time. Be as comfortable out here as, as you can. If you have to throw on chains, please, please pull off of the road completely um, so there's no way someone could accidentally slide into you while you're laying under your car putting on chains. Keep extra distance in front of you. Yep. And I have a feeling someone's going to do that right there. Dude, I was just saying that, and I knew that was going to happen right there. Someone's going to slide out. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> it's fun having someone else with me to talk smack to these people. The American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers. That's ASCAP. Oh. So it's A A S C or A S S? A S C A P. Okay. ASCAP. Chance yeah. required. You needed an ASCAP last time you were in my car, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's gonna let us go. Thank you. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm going, bro. You don't have to tell me again. Yeah. Yell at somebody. <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. 
this is great. So what we might do is at the top of Onyx Summit, because I really gotta listen to some music, is uh, maybe shut down the video, if that's cool. Sure. Um, I hope you guys get the point, though, of what the road's gonna look like. We're gonna be at the worst part of Highway 38, what would technically be the, what the hell is this guy? Technically be the worst part of this drive if there was such a thing as a worst part. Up at 8,443 feet up, that's Onyx Summit. And we'll be there in about mm, 10 minutes. hitting the 20 mark he's got a 4x4 four four Jeep <laughs> <laughs> on paved road or on uh, on plowed roads he, he's showing <laughs> his level of confidence with his driving yes 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 and I tell them all the time guys I'm giving them crap but if it makes you feel safe to drive like this please do don't let people like me scare you into driving dangerously it's it's you know I get a little short sometimes in more ways than one <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> we got another dirty one in the car, guys. We got another dirty one. <laughs> but like, you would at least like, right. yeah, like, like look for other traffic and maybe pull aside and signal to the person behind you. Hey, go ahead and pass me because I'm driving really slow and extra cautious. But I'm not too inconsiderate to where I want to hold everyone else up, so I'm just gonna make sure that I'm paying attention to the guy behind me. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I need to have an extra camera in here called the shame camera. So I can, uh, you know, just shame these rude, rude drivers. So as soon as, let's see, nope. Oh, we gotta go wait till the straightaway. Cause I'm not gonna risk anybody's lives. Yeah, right. How embarrassing with that? Like, I'd be more embarrassed than pissed that I fucked up or screwed up my car. Right. Because I'm, you know, passing somebody all irritated. I'm supposed to be the professional over here. Wow, it's so beautiful today. Not a cloud anywhere. There's some smog over there, but not a cloud. Yeah, dude. Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> My Beamer broke the uh, My Mercedes the inside. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's why I just locked it just in case. Because accidents happen. <laughs> <laughs> it costs 450 bucks, dude. It, it For each one of the motors. Yeah. $450, dude, in the freaking Benz. And they all went out. I just left mine up at that point. Oh, yeah. 
Well, mine got to the point where I had to wedge something in between this rubber to keep the window up because I had done so much damage it wouldn't even hold the window anymore. I had anymore. to take off all my door panels, reseat them on the things, and then just put them all the way up and leave. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, yeah. Good thing you at least had, you know, the wherewithal to do that. My Jeep has the same on the back left window. And it wants to, if you roll it down, it'll come off the track, so you gotta roll it up. Use the door panel off, utilize it off, and then hook it on. So this, what's gonna happen to this phone is it's gonna overheat right now, so I had to take it off of its little thing because I had the, the stuff blasting. Oh, we have a little avalanche here. Um, the heat blasting. And this phone's such a piece of crap. This Apple iPhone 7 Plus really sucks. <laughs> but my friend Jeff, who is part owner of our local Boost Mobile store, called me last night. I said, dude, I was watching one of your videos and uh, we'd like to, you know, maybe offer you a brand new kick-ass iPhone and service with us if if you advertise us up there. I was See, like, well, uh, if you're a Verizon, then I'd do it. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, uh, Jeff, I will show you where he lives. <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, uh, yeah, dude. Sucks balls. Oh, shit. <laughs> Verizon's the only signal you can have on this mountain if you want a good signal. So he's, he's, he's gonna let me borrow a phone for as long as I need just to like try out all over town and see. Oh, nice. And I was, I was like, that's super, super cool. Thing, super cool. Yeah. They're good, good, good people over there. And Jeff hired me at um, at Radio Shack. So he was my boss for over a year. Oh, nice. And uh, just a good, good, good dude, man. Good, good, good dude. And if I if I could give any, 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 anyone business, it'd be him. But I explained to him last night that I heard the same thing about Verizon also. And if Boost works for me for my live feeds and stuff, of course, I will definitely, definitely utilize them. For sure. I'll introduce you to Chad over at Verizon. <laughs> what a great guy he is. Chad, huh? Chad. Good guy. Family guy. I have a friend, Jeffrey, that works there. Jeff. Black dude? Yeah, Jeff's yeah. cool. Yeah. He doesn't look as cool because he cut his hair. I know, dude. That was the coolest fro, dude. Right? S seriously, that thing was just gangster. And now he's like... Super All professional. Smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to talk to him. Yeah. And he goes by Jeffrey now. Jeffrey. Yeah. Not Jeff. Jeffrey. When he worked at 7 uh, Eleven, dude, it was like, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, totally, man. Now I feel like I'm in the office at school when I talk to him. <laughs> Getting reprimanded. <laughs> Good old Jeffrey. Great guy. He sold me this phone. Oh, cool. Hey, hey, chains. chains. <laughs> Jinx, dude. You find two and put them around your neck. You're two chains. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mike, you're funny, bro. Two and, chains, and, a rapper. Oh. See, um, um, I'm, I'm not I too know. down with my rap game after, like, 2002. <laughs> so you're down with, like, Cool Mode E and you're like, what? Nope. Nope, like, uh, like, uh. All, all of my stuff was like Dre, Snoop, um, um, Outkast, Nelly, E40. Well, that's going back, but um, Nate Dogg. Music and Me is probably my favorite album from him. Um, Warren G. All of that stuff, but all this new like Drake and all this stuff that like um, with like the rap that sounds like that. Like, I heard like, Drake duh. is like the Nickelback of rap. Dude, dude, he's more like the Maroon Five of rap, bro. Yeah. It's it's just it's just with all due respect, it's all land. <laughs> You'll be scared. And, and and then I woke up. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So the video cut out at Onyx Summit because the phone overheated. It's a crappy iPhone Seven Plus. Don't forget. Um, so the phone overheated, but we are about a couple miles down from Onyx Summit. Um, uh, going about uh, forty miles per hour. 26 degrees we're just gonna take this to the end of the snow which will be down by uh, um, Angeles Oaks just past Angeles Oaks folks and that's where the next chain checkpoint is gonna be coming up so you guys will get to see that as well 
forgive me about the phone dying out. Didn't mean to do it. Didn't mean to do it, man. Now I get to go back to my hood right now. I'm so excited, Orange County. Just to be in Orange County, I just feel good. Birds up there flying in the directional arrow. Look, look, look at things that looks really cool. Just past these trees, right there. It is at one o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's, that's very, very very cool. Yeah, that's slow down. Just a little bit on my one eye. Have one of these schmuckos get sideways, and then I can't slow down on time. I'd say we, we'll probably be there by 10. 10, 15. Jeez, late. I'll put on the afterburners and, we'll, and we could be there a little early. <coughs> well, well, there's no snow underneath the tires. No, definitely, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah, he's a boost to my personal economy, so if you have insurance, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> we got insurance. We got full coverage. So I wonder if this was the bridge that had a little damage to it, or this one, or... Uh, it's supposed to be a good amount of damage. time it was probably like in 2005 or six there's a ton of snow up here drove up here and this view over there uh -huh. those mountains look like freaking denali bro like just completely caked covered, with, yeah. covered with white you couldn't see any trees or nothing it was just unbelievable felt like you're in alaska it's 28 degrees 48 in la mañana. So, some of my Spanish friends here, like, hey, bro, so why don't you speak a little Spanish on your live feed? And as soon as I did, a bunch of them donated money. <laughs> They're like, dude, we appreciate you speaking Spanish, man. That's so cool. And so they would donate money, like 10 bucks for that. So rad. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm like, dude, I love, the, I love that culture, though. I love the Mexican culture. The Mexican food and... Oh, 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 that sucks. Oh, that sucks, guy. dude. That really sucks. I've seen that right there before, too. Oh, don't drive more than your capabilities. Yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Guys, you don't want your vacation to be ruined like that, man. I'm, man, not even getting up there yet, and, the, and your vacation's done. Just be very, very careful, guys. As I said, do not, you don't have to drive like me. I'm very experienced, very experienced. Just drive to what you feel your abilities are and just be as safe as you can. Your lives are so not worth the risk. It's not worth it. Drive safe. We want you guys up there to have a great time. All right. Yeah, I had 70 people watching at one point last night. I could not believe it. And then I, I, and then I was gonna call you, but I didn't have my other phone on me, so you could go on the live feed. I'd be, what up, my? <laughs> Because it lasted an hour and 15 minutes, and then I finally got a call. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, hour and 15 minutes. I couldn't believe it. 
Jenks Lake. <coughs> I almost got stuck out there in my Mercedes a couple years back, trying to go as far as I could out there in the deep snow. Yeah. wasn't wasn't a good idea, but thankfully I got lucky. And guys, this part we're driving through right now has the most amazing campsites, you guys. It's just so beautiful up here. And there's campsite after campsite after campsite. And then you guys are gonna shut this video down once we are out of the snow. I just wanted you guys to see what the drive is gonna be like through the whole snow part of it. What's he saying? Oh, what's my guy saying? Yeah. I'm Pickle Rick. Okay. That's when Rick turns himself into a pickle. Oh, from that Rick and Morty show? Yeah. Dude, I, I gave it a shot. I just could not do it. Oh, man. And and Back to the Future is like one of my favorite movies. Oh, man. I could great. not do it, dude. Yeah. I, I gave it multiple shots. Tried to watch a couple episodes. I just could not hang in. It really, 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 really bummed me out because I know a lot of people that just love that show. I'm like, dude, I must have not been watching the right parts. Yeah, totally, totally, bro, totally. <laughs> Five cars behind me or 50 cars behind me? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's, that's going to be quite the crappy drive back. But then again, if, uh, because coming from the 10 or the uh, 91, depending on how this traffic is, I could call my friend Chris who... who um, who wears those blue outfits and he puts on the chains. He yep. also is a, a realtor at Blue Skies. His wife's parents own it. Um, um, I'm going to call him when we're down there just to see because it really wouldn't be that really out of the way to just stay on the 15 and go to Bear Valley Road because it takes me 10 minutes exactly to get from the Mitsubishi plant to the top. What time do you think we'll be in Anaheim? Where, um, dude, honestly, I, 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 I don't know because I don't know what the roads are going to be like right up here. But as soon as we get down the hill, less than an hour because I'm going to freaking be flying. I'm going to be flying. And there shouldn't be any traffic today. Um, and, dude, if I put you in any kind of a situation, dude, I, I'm, uh, dude, fucking lazy ass thing. Sorry about the cussing, guys. not that far from uh, no more snow so that's good then I can start start flying I can start flying and then I get my gun I'm in the closet Tom Cruise in the closet I wonder how many of you who actually watch my channel are driving by me right now. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. I love meeting you guys, by the way, man. It's always a real, real joy meeting you guys because you make me feel like I'm like a total celebrity. It's the coolest that thing. Lake. What? What? Where? Holy crap! It's a huge lake. Yeah, I've never seen that back there. I wonder if that's new. Well, or refilled <laughs> from this last storm. Guys, we are. 
over here by the uh, um, uh, the Boy Scouts of America deal. And I believe my school stayed there. Oh, I think it's the Scouts it, now. It, it, oh, 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 that's that's right. Let's be let's be uh, put it yeah, correct yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Girl Scouts should have nothing to do with the Boy Scouts ever, <laughs> ever, dude, ever, <laughs> ever. Stay in your lane. <laughs> totally, bro. You know what? All it's gonna take is is for guys to start suing nail salons and stuff, and like like uh, suing girls' night outs. Right, oh, okay. like uh, because that's that's just not inclusive. That's oh, so. I'm, I'm gonna go when I get off work, take my shoes off, and go get my toes done. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassingly, dude, when I was selling real estate in Newport, I'd I'd get freaking manicures. I, I already thought that of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say hey, hey 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 guys guys, can you believe the the hammering I'm taking right now? <laughs> Bro, no gay jokes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> these guys know I'm not someone who like hates on like anybody and they know my favorite term is happier than a queer at boys camp they all know that <laughs> they all know <coughs> pickle ray look at that tree dude holy crap monster tree to your right dude look at that damn bro I know my people saw that. Oh, that's insane. Do, 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 do. Seven degrees, eight fifty seven AM. And we're almost to the oaks. It's gonna be so beautiful down the hill. We're gonna be able to see like all the way to the water, just about from our views right up here. It's gonna be so amazing. Wash away all the nastiness from the sky, from the air. <coughs> all right, guys, we are almost to Angeles Oaks, and we're almost to the what's gonna be the next chain checkpoint. Um, if they wanted to be dicks with me, they totally could. You don't have snow tires, but that's okay. They don't look at the tires, typically. And these help, too. Oh, yeah, you know what? And Mike's wearing a, a Snow Summit Bear Mountain employee hat, so, I <laughs> mean, um, and, yeah, so that, that would help. They know you're not a noob. Totally. And they probably s s see me they probably love me or hate me, dude. One of the two. These these Caltrans people. <laughs> Seriously. Oh wow, dude. Look around this corner, Mike. Look at the San Gabriel's right there. Wow, dude. Oh, that's beautiful. Dude, <laughs> that's a picture right there. That is a picture. But none of us took it. <laughs> oh, Shiza. Oh, let go of the brake there. We kind of walked off. Why would he have no? Here he goes buying that Wish app fucking snow chains bullshit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> 9.95, you get a set of chains. 
and a headache. <laughs> a set of chains, a headache, and a bad day. Yeah, you can bolt them on real easy, but they break the light <laughs> off since you start driving. <laughs> If you buy those chains, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> you French fry with your pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Stan Darsh. Guys taking a leak over there. <laughs> I just I just sent that out on my Instagram. Which one? That if you pizza with your French fry. <laughs> really? Pizza, you're have a bad time. <laughs> you don't wanna go down that road. <laughs> That's a K19. <laughs> oh, that's no, great. I know what you're thinking, Stotch. <laughs> Isn't one of them Mormon? Matt Stone or Trey Parker? Yeah, I believe. I thought they both were. Oh, okay. But okay. I could be wrong. Okay. Look at all those trails. Yeah, I know. How cool is that, huh? You can see them <laughs> because of, of the light snow. Is they stuck to the trails? And those are all man-made trails, right? Yeah. Just hit them on a... Dirt bike, so... Snowboards drop in. When there's enough snow, I bet that's just so, so awesome right there. That's part of the backside bowl, right? Yes. Okay. I believe that is the backside bowl. Jeez. Oh, this is so... It should be like, if you have two-wheel drive, just stay off the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they're just going to put themselves in a lot of jeopardy. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. <coughs> Can we get a picture of the St. Gabriel's right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Let me, if there's there's a turnout. And, or here, there's no one. Maybe up oh, there. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Like all the way up to that Yeah, end. there's a turnout like right at the end right there, actually. That this should work out. The St. Gabriel's look insane. Holy moly. Holy moly. Oh, you're not cool. We'll, we'll definitely. Turn out. Yeah. Yeah? All right. No, you can't see it from here. Yeah. It's probably one of those other turns. Well, hold on. Maybe. Nope. Man. Not a chance there. Man. Not, not going to do it. But you are going to be not at this juncture. Dana Carr, too. Dude, oh, so funny. Oh, it's cool. I don't have my snow boots on. Okay. I was hoping, like, if we got another clear view from the car. <laughs> yeah, dude. No worries. Like, this photographer goes after those pictures. Oh, I gotta stay in the car, though. Yeah. Yeah. And these windows are see through. You can. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. This is a turnout right here. This is a little turnout. Is that a crappy view? No, that's perfect. Are you sure? Yeah, I just gotta get my finger from out in front. All right. All right, let's go. All right, dude. All right, guys. And then what I'll do is when I go through this video later, because some parts had it right in front, I can zoom in, snap it, and then I'll send it to you. Cause yeah, wow, what a cool valley down there. It really is, man. That'd be a great place to live. Be a great place to live. Just so secluded. And it's fire central, man. Lots, yeah. of, lots of fires down there. We've been fortunate in our area the whole time I've lived there. At least there was one scare. Oh, lake fire. Yep, yep, yep. And that was right here, right? Yeah, they evacuated. Well, no, it was on our side of the mountain. What? Yeah, oh, here. wait, was that the one where fucking... 100 right, yards from my house. Yeah, right right below Snow Summit. I was working at Get the Burger, and I was videotaping it. I'm like, whoa, there's a fire right there, at, like right next to Snow Summit. Yeah. Yeah, dude. My street got evacuated. No way. Yeah. But, dude, I bet that's but only so scary. that side of the street, the south side, not the north side. And it was hellacious, bro. Because I left the next morning to go get coffee, and it's all sheriffed off. And then I come back in, and I'm like, hey, you go back to my house. And they're all, oh, sorry, the whole place is closed off. I'm like, no, you guys closed off the south side, not the north side of the street. I still up there. My kids are up there. What are your kids doing up there? Do you not know what's... You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Do I have to explain to you what's going on right now? I'm not the guy. Dude, if we can pull over right here, that that picture, right, I don't think we can pull over right here. It's not safe. But look oh, at you see those oh. clouds right there, dude? Just yeah, that's beautiful. <coughs> we'll get it. We'll get one. 
Was that the only time you've uh, you've, you've been evacuated? Yes. Like mandatory though. Um, mandatory in, in this city. Yeah. Um, oh, you've been evacuated other places, huh? Whole community. How was that there? Was that some place? It was a mining town. No way. The town had over a million and a half people. And nitroglycerin the they used to like blow up the mountain, right? Yes, that's how you yeah. get into the mountain. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, kind of a week. At one point, there was almost 2 million people in the city. It's called Bisbee, Arizona. Okay. When I lived there, it was 4,000 people. Okay. It's what, like Big Bear. What were you doing there? Uh, I left California to kind of make a little different change in my life. And it was interesting. I, I took up a job in radio. I became a radio personality for about a year and a half. Oh, wow. And uh, I just found a nice little mountain community like Big Bear out in the middle of Arizona desert. It's like way super high up in the desert. Um, so much history. Um, it's in the uh, Mule Mountain Pass. So it's like where Geronimo uh, roamed. Nice, man. Apache. Yeah, yeah. They got pictures Geronimo, of Geronimo, Sacagawea. Super cool history of a little town. Bisbee? Bisbee. Bisbee. B-I-S-B-Y. B-I-S-B-E. Oh, B-E. B-I-S-B-E. Okay. Um, okay. You'll hear about it in cowboy movies a lot. Are there a lot of abandoned, um, like, yes, structures? Obviously. Okay, because then I've... Because that town totally rings a bell. I, I watch these YouTube videos of, like, abandoned structures um, and people checking them out. And I believe that was one of the towns. It, it's 40 minutes from Tucson. Or from uh, Tombstone. Okay. Okay. Tombstone, Arizona. Wow, dude. That's cool, man. Oh, so neat, bro. It's beautiful. Dude, hey, real, real quick, guys. There's no chain controls right here. They must be up here further. Because usually they'll they'll be right here. Interesting. Interesting. Chains. But people have chains on, so no they're... No chain. You have oh. chains. Oh. Huh? Bisbee, that's cool, man. That's where, uh, like in the movie uh, Tombstone, where they said that they're gonna, uh, hey, we're gonna go down to Bisbee and retire. Oh, no way! Hell yeah, that's one of my favorite movies, man. I love that movie. Not a great movie. You ain't no Daisy. <laughs> he just couldn't bear it. <laughs> we're only this far so far? Wow. Well, no, no, but just a couple more turns and you start going down. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, so we're 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 just about down, and then I I, I promise you I will be on it. I'll be on it. Oh no, worries. I'm not worried about it taking that. You don't need to go fast. Well, I. Have, I want to live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I live with a lot of small people. I'm freaking big on dude. These motherfuckers are tough. Nicest people, but my god, they're tough. Look at these Scoot guys. Get over. <laughs> he got the point. Jeez, peoples. Unbelievable. So you guys are watching how these people are driving, right? You guys are totally watching this, right? I know this isn't you guys I, because you guys have learned a lot from me over the past three years. Even though 2,000 of you just joined me in the past couple months. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. For like three years, like I was working my it's like 500. <laughs> 600 subscribers, Mike, and then all of a sudden, just this this winter time, it has blown up. You got good uh, uh, those hashtag words and all that stuff on your yes. profile. Yes, tags. Yeah, like uh, yes. like a uh, um, obviously my YouTube name. I do that in lowercase and capital, and then I do like snow in Big Bear Lake, which is why on Google, if you just type in snow in Big Bear Lake, it's totally. My, all my videos come up first. I've SEO'd that. Yeah, perfectly. logo should be on every one of your videos. Yeah, dude, how cool would that freaking be? I, I just need to know how to do that, and then you have your Mac. I'm uh, getting shirts movie, made too. Movie uh, time or whatever it's called. I have iMovie. Yeah, iMovie would do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm very novice with that stuff. I wish I knew more. I try to sit down and watch videos on like learning, and then I just get sidetracked. <laughs> Seriously, ADD, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm getting shirts made because um, a ton of people ask for shirts, dude. Oh my gosh, like all day long. Um, lots of people have. Well, you got you got to have mugs, caps, T-shirts, hoodies, 
You know what I mean? Yeah, People dude. buy all that stuff. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And that logo, one of my fans made for me. Right. Like, how cool is that, dude? Like, and, and that's a very intricate logo. Like, they did a really good job. I mean, they did a, 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 a tremendous job. All right, 29 degrees, guys. We are almost out of the snow. Why did I speed up right there like a schmuck? Schmutz. <laughs> like, a, like a schmutz. I'm so proclaimed. Talk to yeah. nasty selves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those were the good old SNL days, dude. I know you grew up in some of the even better days, like when Chevy Chase and... Dude, Eddie uh, Murphy, bro. Yeah. Oh, God, dude. I'm on. Gumby, damn it. <laughs> I grew up watching the old days when, like, John Candy was, like, towards the end there. And then uh, In Living Color, when that was big with Jim Carrey back then. Um, yeah, man. TV was great back then. Maybe because there wasn't much to watch, so, like, everything just seemed really cool. Or most stuff seemed cool, but nowadays there's there's just endless amounts, and yet they still choose to watch me. <laughs> so cool, so cool, so big. All right, guys. So we are getting to the end of the snow here. So I wonder where the snow line is going to be. I wonder if they're putting chains on at the bottom of the hill. The bottom of this steep part coming up here. Oh yeah. Gosh, now you can't even see the San Gabriels, man, because of those beautiful clouds right there. That's a really beautiful picture right there, Mike. Look at that. Yeah, that's really, that's Jesus. Dude, seriously, bro. So I'm just shoveling all fucking day. So, Excuse my language. So I've been talking um, like on Valentine's Day, telling all my single single lady fans out, out there, and you know I've had a lot of responses. <laughs> of, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, not too much further, and we're going to be out of the snow. <sighs> okay, guys, my phone just... Uh, overheated and you guys missed the best example that I could have possibly showed you of what not to do. People literally stopped in this whole lane and just parked in, in, in the lane facing this direction to take up the whole lane to put their chains on. Um, yeah. Mike, I really hope you don't get bummed and I swear it's not going to take us any longer for me to drive to Bear Valley Road afterwards and go up on on the back. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, instead of driving up Highway 38, um, because we'll already be on the 15 right next to, to freaking Bear Valley Road when we come back. So I'll just take Highway 18 back up on the back. Is that... Yes. Guys. I, I just can't spend too much time here. Oh, no, no, bro. Trust me. I'm I'm, I'm trying to be home faster. Because no one's going to yeah, be doing that backside right now. I was hoping we were picking this stuff up already. 917. Damn, dude. Day's half over. It Sorry, is. you don't have to drive fast, though, bro. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> A little fun for the morning? All right. Okay, now we're out of the snow. Almost. Almost, almost, almost. And then we can fly after we pass this guy. Another few feet, guys, and we have eclipsed the snow line. <laughs> nice, dude. Thank you, brother. Oops, say you now. Thanks, bro. Very cool, very cool, man. Thank you. All right, guys, we are 
almost out of the snow. I see a couple little white patches. It's probably gonna be right down here at Angeles Oaks. Or no, not, uh, Forest Falls. This town is so incredibly beautiful in here, Mike. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you're in the Swiss Alps in there. Because those mountains are so rugged. and I mean, look at that, dude. That's so insane. And those mountains get a ton of snow. Gosh, that's so awesome. All right. All right, guys. 35 degrees. And I'm really shocked that we're not seeing any chain checkpoints to make sure that, well, obviously not, because people are putting them on in the middle of the lane. I really wish I had that on video for you guys. Whoa, Whoa buddy. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> get something on video for you guys. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, guy, jeez. These people need to do their job. Slow traffic down or something. Oh, they maybe they are doing chains right up here. Uh, yeah. Let them know that they're fucking stopped up there. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Let me put this away first. Yeah. Let's pull over to the side. Just slow down by the sheriff right here, and I'll tell him. See you on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to Probably stop down. in the middle. That's all right. No one's behind you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> he's Dumbass. Gone. He's gone. Yep. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Fucking idiot! Emergency! <laughs> Fuck, dude. Dude, he almost took your arm off. Like, he really almost took your fucking arm off. Oh, excuse my language, guys. It's 420 on the on the thing, so I get a pass for that one. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but... Yeah. And there's there, that, that, there, there weren't chain controls. People are just... So, guys, just, uh, just know you're going to be stuck in nightmarish traffic because... There are a bunch of people who think it's okay to stop in the middle of the lane and put on their chains. Um, I strongly, well, <laughs> take the route I take after I take it. <laughs> Bro, I can't even get three bars on 3G. I can't even get Google homepage. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? You're lucky because I don't even get service right here. <laughs> well, I mean, they just show me I got three bars, but oh. there ain't nothing coming through. Uh, that's it for this video, guys. Mike and I are out. Mike, say goodbye to the people. Later, guys. We love you guys. Drive safely. It's, as you guys can see, it's completely stopped. Um, probably all the way down to, to a Mentone. So uh, we're not going to deal with this. We're going to show you guys in an easier, softer way. Or I'll tell you about it. Love you.